334 Tactical Outdoors. Today I'm out here to give another review and a stability test. This time it's going to be on the Old Town Sportsman 106 kayak. Um, I'm going to bring the camera in and go over all the specifications and details that this kayak has to offer. Throw it out here in the creek behind me. Show you what it's like to paddle it around uh, and what the stability is like, like I always do. So if you find this video helpful, leave me a like. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. And if you haven't already, guys, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate all the support. I appreciate you watching. Let's get into this review. Okay, guys, let me give you the full specifications of this kayak. It is 10 foot, 6 inches long. It is 13 inches tall. It's 34 and a half inches wide. It weighs 81 pounds. It has a weight capacity of 440 pounds. Give you a little small overview here. Now, starting up here at the bow, you have your drain plug on the very front of the bow. You have this nice carry handle that is bolted on. Uh, it's a really nice carry handle. You have a front bow storage. Just unclip it. The lid has this nice little water little seal around it. Uh, so it seals up nice. You have this little lanyard right here that keeps it on to keep you from losing it. This is inside the storage. Show you the, what the hole is like on the inside. Show you how much room you have in there. You have plenty of bow storage. Um, you can't get no rods down in there, but uh, you can get a lot of gear down in there that you would like. It has this nice little bungee system to hold it down. You have these little grooves on the bow. Um, I'll get back uh, to showing you what them are in just a second as we go on down to details. I will get back to that. Inside the deck here, you do have this nice stand assist strap inside here. You have a through hole scupper for mounting your uh, transducer for your fish finder. I'll show you that on the bottom side when I flip the boat over. You have these adjustable foot rests. Uh, you have them on each side. they easy to adjust. Just pull it out, slide it up. They lock into place. You can pull them back if you would like. They lock into place. You have these track rails. You have uh, two 15-inch track rails uh, that are ready to accept your Yak Attack, Trailblazer, Scotty Mount, which, whichever one you want to run. Uh, you have two of them. They're 15 inches long. So you have plenty of track rail system up here. This is your footrest here. We're the same as the other side. You have this huge wide open deck. You have these two Eva foams in the bottom. Uh, they're really soft. Uh, better grip for standing up. Uh, noise reducer when you're out fishing and standing. You have four scupper holes in the deck here. You have this one forward facing flush mount rod holder that sits just in front of the seat here. Uh, if you're just wanting to put your rod in uh, after you catch a fish or if you're just wanting to put it in there while you're riding. Uh, you have another bolted in handle here. You have this nice little tackle tray area beside the seat. You have a molded in cup holder. Now getting right behind the seat, you have this other flush mount rod holder. It's a rear facing flush mount rod holder. And I think I said this is a forward facing flush mount rod holder. Just want to correct myself on that. It does come with this paddle clip for holding your paddle on. This is the stern tank well. And guys, this is a huge tank well on the back side of this kayak. Um, you have plenty of room to put a battery up here. Uh, your camping gear, your fish basket. Uh, you have plenty of room for it. Have a nice bungee system on the back. You have another carry handle on the back. All these carry handles are bolted down. All of them say Old Town on them. Uh, so really nice detail on that. This is the back side of your seat. This is where your seat straps down at to hold it in. This is in your high seating position. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and show, show you the seat while I've got them back there. 
This is the high seating position of the seat. You do have a low seating position for the seat. Now this is what they call the ultimate comfort seat. Um, it is really nice and soft. You don't feel any of the bars when you sit down in it. Um, it's really, really nice. You have your uh, adjustment straps on each side. This seat will fold all the way out. It is a nice lawn chair style seat. And you just run your strap back around the base of the seat there and it locks right down now you also have a rear facing flush mount rod holder here you have another molded in cup holder you have your other handle on this side here like I said all these handles are bolted in they all say Old Town and they're really nice carry handles you have this little other little tray on this side that's molded in it's got this little fishnet uh, for putting your phone, your keys, uh, you can put a little tackle tray down in there. You have these grooves on it for just resting your paddle if you're just wanting to set your paddle down. You can also put them inside these grooves. You have plenty of room underneath this seat. Let me get that other strap on so I can show you full details. You have plenty of room for throwing your tackle trays or whatever underneath this seat because you have a lot of room underneath there. This is what your clips look like for your seat. This is the low seating position. Like I said, I got it back in the high seating position. Now, getting back to what I showed you on the bow, you have these two little grooves if you wanna set a rod underneath your seat, you can set a rod underneath the seat up here this is where your rod this is where your rod would lay when you have it underneath the seat another cool feature on this kayak you can lay your rod right beside your seat it sits right on the back side of the footrest and rides right in this area here on the bow to keep your rod in nice and tight so this is on both sides of the kayak. You can lay your rod down. Runs right up beside the kayak there. Stays out of your feet position or out of your feet's way when in the footrest. So that's a really nice feature. Well guys, that is it for all the features on the top side of this kayak. Let me flip this kayak over. Uh, I'll give you a bottom view of it. Uh, so let me get it flipped over, be right back. Okay guys, this is the bottom side of the kayak. This kayak has this nice U-Haul design. As you can see how it kind of used down. Um, this is a really nice U-Haul design. Uh, it's for ultimate stability, which I'll get out here in the water and show you a stability test. Here's your through-hole scupper. This is where you mount your transducer at. Um, it's ready to accept a low ranch transducer, hummingbird transducer, Garmin transducer. You have this nice skid pad here to help protect the transducer whenever you have it mounted there. Like I said, you have four scupper holes in the deck. You have four scupper holes on the stern tank wheel. You have this nice little skid plate here to help protect the kayak when you're dragging it around on rocks boat ramps or wherever and that is what the bottom side of the kayak looks like like i said you can see this nice u-hole design that's on it but guys let's put this thing in the water and uh i'll show you what it's like paddling around and uh show you the stability of this kayak so stand by Okay guys, this is going to be the on the water review of the Old Town Sportsman 106 kayak. I'm going to test the stability and the tracking of this kayak out here. So uh, let's do the first thing and go ahead and test the stability of this kayak. Wow, super easy to stand. I got to say this U-Hole design is, you don't even feel it when you stand up it. 
I mean, it has very little movement to it. Let me get the kazan. This is looking down at it, and I mean, it's wow. Let's uh, see what it's like on a back and forth movement. Goodness. This is a nice stable platform that they have here. I mean, you can. This is a back and forth movement of the kayak. Do side to side. I mean, you can stand. That is super stable. Here's just. Let me get my camera back up a little bit here. This is your stand assist strap. Super easy to pull yourself up and letting yourself down. Let's uh, let me stand back up here. Make sure the camera's in already. Let's see what it's like paddling it around. Super easy to paddle around while you're standing up. This is standing at the very front of the deck on the bow and it's barely picking the back side of the kayak up. This is a let me get turned around here. Show that one more time. Guys, this is standing at the very front of the deck right here at the bow and it's barely, it's got the backside barely picked up. The weight distribution of this kayak is really, really nice. Well, let's go paddle this kayak around and see what the tracking is like. Show you what it's like to paddle it around. Let me adjust my feet rest out here. Wow, this thing paddles out nice. It tracks pretty good to be such a short little 10 foot 6 boat. Get it turned around here. This thing paddles really, really nice. See what it's like spinning it around. Super easy to spin around. This is the tracking on it. This thing tracks out nice. Being such a short boat, um, I would say it tracks out very nice. So. Get back in my other camera view here and show you what it's like standing while you're moving. This is standing up while you're moving. This thing is super easy to stand on. Well, guys, that is going to be it for my on the water review. This kayak is super nice. It is super stable, super easy to stand on. It does track well to be such a short boat, so I give it a full thumbs up. I appreciate you watching to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, guys.